video, we are going to talk about subtopic 9.8 Small Changes and Approximation from your successful book, page 214. There will be two sub subtopic. The first one is Small Changes 9.8a. Second one is 9.8d. Approximation. So we go straight to the first subtopic, which is Small Changes. When we talk about small changes, normally we denote uh, the small changes with the symbol delta, which means that if I have delta x, means we have small changes in the value of x. And if I have delta y, this refers to small changes in the value of y. And if I have, say, delta e, means that we have small changes in the value of a. It could be... And if you have volume, delta V, means that small changes in V, etc, etc, etc. Okay. Say that we have two points. Mm, here and here. Point A and point B on a Cartesian plane. Y against X. It's too small. It's just too small, so I zoom. We will have a bigger picture of y and x and two points, a and b, the coordinate of first point, x1, y1, and coordinate of second point, x2, y2. And we know the gradient of the point, uh, of the line, can be represented by dA over d, no, sorry, dy over dx and this value can be approximated by delta y over delta x because as we know there is a small changes in the value of y delta y over small changes in the value of x To make it easy, you just remember that delta y over delta x can be approximated by dy over dx, which means that if you want to find delta y, we need to find dy over dx and multiply it with delta So this is the core formula for this subtopic. Let's have a look on the questions. Okay, the first question should be self access 9.8. Question number 1. Given that y equals to 2x to the power of 3 minus 8x squared plus 11, find the approximate change in y. Find the approximate change in y. So, which means that 1, we want to find delta y. When x increases from 2 to 2.1. Okay, put it like this. Delta 1, 1 to find such that uh, value of x original is equal to 2 and changes small changes in x equals to 2.01 minus 2 equals to 0 0.01 okay. so these are the information given in the equation and you can see that we have y equals to delta 2x to power 3 minus 8x squared plus 11 we can differentiate this function okay 
according to the small changes formula delta y over delta x can be approximated by dy over dx okay from before from this formula we want to find delta y which means that we need to move delta x to the right hand side so delta y is just equals to dy over dx times with delta x so we find our dy over dx dy over dx is just um, given that y equals to 2x to the power of 3 minus 8x squared plus 11 so dy over dx is just equals to 6x squared minus 16x so put that value this value this function sorry it's not value it's function here so we have um, 6x squared minus 16x multiply with delta x which is just 0 0.01 and next step you need to insert original x is x original so which means that okay so approximate 2 6 times x original is 2 2 to the power of 2 minus 16 times 2 and multiply with 0 0.01 hence you press your calculator you will get let's see negative 0 0.08 okay so the small changes in y is negative 0 0.08 and stating whether the change is an increase or decrease it is a decrease in value because we have negative here right okay one more example to go look at question number two find the approximate increase in the area find delta a of a circle so circle when its radius increases from 5 to 5.02 which means that original radius is equals to 5 there is a small changes in the value of the radius which is just 5.02 minus with 5 which is equals to 0 0.02 and we can see we know that the area formula for a circle is pi r squared and we can differentiate this dA over dr is equals to 2 pi r since we want to find delta A We need to approximate delta A over delta R. It's just approximate by dA over dr. But we want delta A, so we move delta R to the right hand side. Becomes delta A. It's just dA over dr multiply with delta R. So which is just equal to dA over dr is two pi r. 2 pi r there 2 pi r multiply with delta r which is just 0 0.02 and then we insert the original r so we will have summation to 2 pi times with original r is 5 times with 0 0.02 final answer we should get uh, the small changes in a is equals to approximate can be approximate to 0 
5 cm squared. Okay. So it's quite simple. You just need a little bit uh, practice on this subtopic. So your homework will be um, self access 9.8. Question number four and also question number five. Okay, now let's proceed to the next subtopic, which is the approximation subtopic nine point eight B. So for this subtopic, you have to remember um, certain form formula which is um, the f approximation value of y is given by this formula y mu is just equals to y original plus with delta y and we know that delta y over delta x is just dy over dx. So if we want to find delta y, it's dy over dx multiplied with delta x. So delta y is just equals to y origin plus with that value, that function dy over dx times delta x confused let's have a look at example question again self access 9.8 question number 9 given that y equals to 5 over x to the power 3 find the value of dy over dx when x equals to 4 okay given y this is the first first part of the question okay given y equals to 5 over x to the power of 3 which means that y is just equal to 5 x to the power of negative 3 find the value of dy over dx equals to negative 15 x to the power of negative 4 when x equals to 4 so we substitute the value of x you press your calculator you should get if I, I bring 4 down so you should get negative 15 over 4 to the power of 4 which is just negative 15 over 2, 5, 6 okay so we have we've done the first part of the question given that this function find the value of dy over dx when x equals to 4 that is the answer for the first part of the question now we move to question A Hence, estimate the value of y over um, 4.01 to the power of 3. So we want to estimate this value here. So uh, by formula, y mu is just equals to y original plus with delta y is just y original plus with dy over dx multiply with delta x okay so y new given here is 5.4.01 to the power of 3 can be estimated this value can be estimated by doing y original what is y original y original is just if you look at this function, uh, we can take 5 over 4. 
to the power of 3 okay oh for this one for the sec if we have um, second for the second um, question it should be uh, y original should be 5 over 4 over 3 as well okay so y original 5 over 4 to the power of 3 plus with dy over dx dy over dx is negative 15 over 2 5 6 multiply if sm with small changes in x small changes in x okay so the small changes theta x should be 0 0.01 okay because the original x is 4 and um we uh there's an increment of 0 0.01 so delta x is just equal to 0 0.01 so multiply with 0 0.01 so press your calculator you should get final answer is 0 0.0775 Alright, I think I stop here for today. Please do 9B as homework. Notice that for 9B, delta x is equal to negative 0 0.02 such that x original is equals to 4 okay that is for question b so i think i stop here today um hope that uh, you could revise on your own during this school holiday make sure that you finish all the lecture and i'll see you soon when the school starts bye bye